So, hey guys, Chaozu here. So in this video, we're going to do a deep dive into the presumably anniversary exclusive Odin and Toki unit. So yeah, let's just get into it. So yeah, here we are. As you see, we're getting a free multi on the Super Sugo Fest. And we'll talk more about the actual Sugo once we have all the official news at the news hour. For now, we're just going to focus on Odin and Toki, and I'll make a video about Luffy and Yamato later. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's recap what they do. Odin and Toki. Slasher free spirit. We can see that Odin is quick and Toki is strength. So yeah, another strength slasher free spirit, Toki. Uh, we also see that they have the super tandem. They have critical hit and pin shielding. And this unit is clearly designed to be used with the anniversary scabbers legend we got last year for half Annie. And they will probably function very well to get, together with the assumed upcoming Soro Super Sugo Fest exclusive. But yeah, let's look at what they do. Uh, can look at their captains in solo forms and then combine. In solo form, they have minus one CD. Slashers get five times attack. An extra 1.1 times attack with tandem and one slot. So 5.5 times attack without duo form is pretty insane. 1.2 times HP. Uh, and when a slasher crewmate uses a special, you get minus two CD to yourself. And the switch effect is also reduced by one. So that's actually pretty amazing and makes them a very interesting captain. Uh, the most annoying part of using them is of course that everything is mono slasher and slasher is not one of the best classes, even if it's not one of the worst either. Let's see if Toki has any other numbers. Nope, it's exactly the same basically. So from now on, let's focus on the duo form. In the duo form, they st instead start a 5.25 five times attack for slashers. And with tandem and bonus slots, they go up to almost 5.8 times attacks. So that's a very decent number. Uh, also have some healing, HP boost, and uh, CD reduction and swap reduction from other slashes using special is still there. So basically the same. Uh, the main thing I have to say about the captain is that it does lack some overall utility of some sort. You can argue that reducing CD is a kind of utility, but... Uh, another thing we see with the duo form is that they don't mention the CD reduction, but... We do now know that they are minus one CD usually. They keep everything in the duo form anyway, even if it doesn't matter, but... Yeah, with this patch they moved away a bit from it. So yeah, pretty decent captain, very interesting to be able to use their special and super swap earlier than should be possible. As for the actual special, uh, heals crew by 40 times carriage recovery, and you can go above max HP, so that's pretty nice. Uh, you reduce the spear and paralysis by 7 turns, apply minus 50% slash resistance to all enemies for 1 turn. 2.75 times call of unity for slashers for one turn, and you become Odin and Toki for just one turn. That's actually pretty interesting. Uh, it's very rare to see one turn duo form. I don't think I can remember that for a. Uh... Well, the last time for a legend is Shirahoshi and Manchuri, we won. They also have that one turn. Not really sure what the purpose of that is, but. I will say that there are sometimes cases where I wish my duo unit had just one turn of duo form. So sometimes this will be great, sometimes it will be bad. That's just how it is. Uh, yeah, but yeah, maybe we should talk about this before moving on as well. Like uh, with 
The Scabbers Gladium, they can handle attack boost and or boost. So it makes sense that Odin and Toki focuses on color affinity and that Slash Resistance is a very nice added extra damage. And of course there is more damage to add than that because we also have the Super Tandem. And to activate Super Tandem you need two of the following characters on the crew. Basically any of the Scabbards or Momo, or Hiyori, or Roger, or Whitebeard. So I talked about this in my last video, but this is not optimal. We'll take a look at what options you have, but basically, if you want to use Odin and Toki's Super Tandem, and also use the Scabbards for their incredibly good final tap, then you just don't have a lot of options, like... Out of the units here, you have Kanjuro, Raizo, Kiku, Cat Wiper, you have Momo, Hiyori, Roger, Wiper, and some of them don't even have any slashes really, so not optimal at all. But if you are able to activate this and pair them up with Scabbers, you get some insane damage because you do get that 2.5 times tandem attack boost. And you buff their Call of Infinity buff to 3 times with that plus 0.25 buff. So definitely really interesting. I just wish to change the condition to one unit. This unit will have been really insane then to pair up with the Scabbard. Uh, as for the crewmate abilities. As a sub they can also speed up their special. Not as much as Captain. And you can speed up the Super Swap as a sub. And you boost base stats for slash up by 150. Very nice. Swap. 5% heal. Change this own slot to Wano, but not through block war. Slashes get a 1.5 times or boost that can be overwritten. I actually really like this. I shall have probably looked up units you can combine this with, but I focus on other stuff for this video. I will definitely showcase stuff you can combine with that too. So I really like that, like you can use a special that if you have an ore boost, you get an attack boost and then you do this swap and you get both the ore boost and attack boost, for example. It's very interesting. And having heal is just nice in general. We don't really have long content anymore, but if we ever get it again, then those swaps are invaluable for survival. Super swap seven times, which is very high, but... At least as captain, you can speed it up quite a bit. Still the same heal. Station is one slot to matching. Change adjacent slots to tandem. Make sure cover tandem slots and matching slot effects. And slashes get a 2.5 times all boost for one turn. I'm not, not sure why they... Well, I guess that the scabbers let you mainly do an attack boost, but they can do all boost as well. So... The idea is that Odin and Toki will basically replace uh, We Won Odin, I guess. One interesting thing with the Scabbers is that they want you to use We Won or We Two Odin. And now they design a new Odin to pair with Scabbers, so it will be interesting to see if they update the Scabbers. They could have actually maybe done it and nobody checked. We should probably check that as well. We'll do that in a bit. But yeah, obviously a very good super swap. You like just this unit can give a very high ore boost and call affinity and resistance. So you just need an attack boost, you need some chain, you need some conditional maybe, and you're set basically. Uh, we will return soon for the PvP talk. We'll just go through all of the PvE first. And I uh, prepared some units to pair this unit with. That we'll take a look at. Uh, we can look at Scabbards first. And I'm interested to see if they've been changed. No. It's the same as before. Which is a bit of a shame. I really think they should update this. Considering the new loot your Odin is led you designed to be used with this unit. But it is what it is. But yeah, as you see with the Scabbard here. They can handle the attack boost, while Odin and Toki can handle the ore boost and Call of Infinite and everything else. They also handled 
a lot of Wano orbs and such, which is obviously very nice. And you can get a super class. You have the absolutely broken final tap where you deal one times extra damage you've dealt by slashers on top of the other damage. So basically a bit worse version of Luffy crew, but uh, this unit like does more for the team than Luffy crew does. It's just that the final tap is more restrictive and a bit weaker. So that's definitely a best friend for forever. And yeah, I mine is ready. Level limit break five. So just need the Odin and Toki. I have some other units to use for the super tandem requirement. Like we have Roger, of course. Like I'm not going to talk about these very good legends, but both Roger and Whitebeard are count. So they can help with the super tandem. And obviously they are amazing legends in general. He or doesn't even need a lot of discussion either. You do need to be a bit careful though, because you can't use he or his level 2 special the same turn you want to use a super tandem. Because uh, you get a full board of one orbs, and obviously you can't change one orbs to tandem. So you need to be a bit careful about that. But level 1 special does work, and you get adjacent slot to 1 at least. Uh, Kiko and Iso, maybe not the most optimal, but they can give the chain that is otherwise lacking and can help with Wana or Manip. But obviously, chain lock is not optimal. And if you try and compare Scabbage with Odin and Hoki, you're probably going for very high damage. So, chain lock not optimal then. And then we have Cat, which is a pretty interesting option as maybe friend captain like if you face a quick boss you can get the super type you can ignore defensive effects stuff like that uh, some other options like it's not just legends like we have the entire scabbard batch with this riser for example that cat dog there's another kiku as well among others and they all have very good specials both in utility and Various buffs that can be definitely be used. Kiko has a lot of good units. I put up the old free to play Kisna Okiku here, which can help with utility and reduce CD by two, which can definitely be helpful. Uh, I put also put up an old Kawamatsu, which I use quite a bit. He's really good, can help with utility, and he also helps with the chain for. Three turns, and Chain is one of the weaknesses of the Scabbard Odin Toki combo. And just put a Rondi free to play there. At least does base attack boost, like it can be fine, I guess. Uh, we also have Como, of course. Komarasaki counts as a hero, so you can use this. Another potential way to get some one orbs, you can even use the quick Komarasaki, and you also get some have the potential to get one orbs too and some various buffs so potential unit to use i also put some other units you can use for the super type uh, super tandem condition but doesn't really have any slashers like but you can still use them just to fill it out and you can just hit with them early like this wiper for example if the captain is free spirit, like Scavenge and Odin Toki is, you can get that chain boundary with him and some utility. So it can definitely be used. Kanjiro, like Toki's strength. So if you have a strength captain, you can get a self proc death down conditional at least with him. You can't get the color of unity, but it's not like you want it with this kind of comp. I just like this Raizo in general and. Well, both Scabbards and Odin Toki are free spirits. You can get those buffs from him, and he also does quite a bit of utility. And then we have uh, Momo and Shinobu, and I just put like the only good Momo in the game now. Doesn't really have any synergy at all with this comp. I just wanted to put a Momo here. We'll probably get a free to play treasure map your Momo soon, so I hope he's really good. <laughs> Hard to believe that would be a slasher though, but yeah, wait and see. I also put some other potential legends to use, like we can't sleep on V1 Odin. You could do a comp where you have V1 Odin and Scabbard 
as captains, Odin being the friend captain, and then as a sub you have Odin and Toki. That way you can use both the Odin. That could be an incredibly powerful way of facing certain dex bosses with very high HP. But Odin can't really be part of the super tandem, I guess. So you still need to fit like two other uh, scabbards and etc. for the super tandem. So that will be pretty hard. Uh, I put both the mink duos like Kart Wanda, you know what they do. Great in general for slashers. Can use Cat Dog to get all the buffs. Can also use them as a hybrid to speed the teams up. Anniversary Sorrow. You know what it does, it gives a lot of unique shame buffs and you can stack them with someone like Legend Smoothie that also does good utility and gives you a shame boundary. So slashers have a lot of good stuff, but they probably still don't have enough to make this duo like something that is incredibly good for super boss, but at least an option. I know I've already talked a lot, but this is supposed to be a deep dive, so I don't really feel too bad about that. Let's finish this video off by talking about PvP. And you might know it's not like my favorite thing to talk about, but we do need to talk about it. As always, I have very strong opinions about things. And we'll start with the PvP stuff. For normal PvP and then look at GP, I will say that in general, I don't really think this unit will see much use. Definitely not bad though. If you look at their ability. Team HP up level 6, speed up level 6. Strength quick, tight teammates, attack up level 6, recovery up level 6. And when remaining HP is 50% or below, self -speed, special city speed up level 3. See, it does a lot of decent stuff. The main issue here that there's no def up, which is like the most important stat. The upside is that he they give everything else, so that's probably makes up for it if the special is good enough. And I kind of dislike HP conditional stuff. Like here, if you have low HP, you speed yourself up. Like you can't really build teams around that, so. Sometimes it might mean that you launch special earlier than you thought, and that could be good, that can be bad, but you haven't really accounted for that. As for the special... Target enemies within large range horizontal for 4 times attack damage, which is obviously very strong. 100% chance of action bind, 5 seconds. When remaining HP is 50% or below, target's team for 100% chance of haste. And again, we have that HP conditional BS. Uh, I don't think the special is good enough. We also have the issue that uh, Odin, if we say use him for a slasher team, which kind of makes sense. Like you don't have to use him for a slasher team. It could also be free spirit. But also, even if he himself is like a rainbow PvP unit almost, it's not like other PvP units are almost rainbow. So you still have to fit him into some existing archetypes. But if you say if I slash team for example, I still say that Weevon Odin is more valuable than this on offense. So I prefer to use him. But I think that he could have a niche on defense since one of the most annoying things on to face on defense is action bind. It might just be 5 seconds, but those 5 seconds can be incredibly disruptive, like if you get binded. You get removed from the turn order altogether, and when the bind is removed, you're put in the bottom. So even if it just says 5, five seconds, it can be a lot more than that. And the RNG that is annoying on offense can actually be pretty clutch on defense, where you don't really want, need to win every game, but just need a win from time to time. Uh, resistance. That's pretty interesting, more damage to strength than dex. And reduce damage taken on Fighter and River. Yeah, pretty unique. I know Luffy Hammond also got unique resistance. It's nice that they try and shake things up with stuff like this. Don't really think that this will be game breaking or anything, but nice nonetheless. Uh, they are a lot more interesting in the Grand Party though. Uh, the leader skill is pretty meh. And the main reason I probably won't use them myself really. They only buff Strength, Quick, and Slasher, and 
I'd say that strength dex quick in general is not that desirable in grand party with current rules with hidden teams because imagine you'd pick a strength team and you walk into a quick team that you couldn't see. Yeah, you don't want to do that, so it's better to use class teams, int, size, stuff that doesn't really have any awful auto loose matchups basically. But the burst is definitely interesting. You need to do 50,000 damage, which is quite a bit. Like, it's not as reliable as taking damage, but it's not a deal breaker either, I'd say. Uh, you target three high def enemies for death down level 8 for 30 seconds. That's actually really good. Targets three enemies for leader base attack, three times damage, three times. So that's basically pretty similar to the uh, Uta, 6 plus Uta. After 50% of battle, 50 seconds of battle, of course. Targets all enemies for 100% chance of half stats. And obviously, another unit getting an universal half stats is big. But we have that small little nitpick that it has to be 50 seconds left. And if you've seen how I play Grand Party, I like to have the burst ready before I take the first hits of specials. Like, battles can often be decided in that initial interaction when you use your first special, the enemy uses their first specials. And with 50 seconds left, you've gone through at least one of those cycles. So you can't impact that at all. So even if it's nice to get new options, I'd say that Roger is still desirable. And he also boosts, like, Sai, which has been nerfed often, but... Still is like a good stuff team that can beat a lot of stuff. And like Odin Toki also buffs slashers. So you don't really get as much right as you want in the kind of teams you can make. And as I said, I personally like to avoid using strength and quick in grand party. But it's nice that they are trying stuff. Like most of the time when we get new stuff for grand party, it's absolutely useless. But... You can talk about this, so even if I probably won't go all in on them, it will be interesting to see other people giving them an honest try. Maybe they can change my mind. But yeah, that's it for this video. I will talk about Luffy and Yamato tomorrow, and once we get the full news about the anniversary, I'll talk about all of that as well as the uh, Sugos we're getting for May 12th. Thanks for watching guys, see you next time.